So I decided to watch this one because it has Scrappy-Doo, which is a character I really enjoy, but I've never actually seen him in much. And I don't even know who he's supposed to be. Is he like Scooby's nephew or drinking buddy? <laughs> Two segments each episode. And I am starting with episode one, segment one, and it's Scooby the Barbarian. We latch on to Professor Busby as he's talking to this tour. And he asks, Are there any questions? One dipstick in the back, of course, there's always one. Is like, oh, is this place haunted? Professor Busby's like, no. Don't you think I want to mention that? He takes off to go do some research. So the tour goes back to touching things. And we zoom in on this man's belly, which is doing this. <laughs> JK, it's definitely this guy. And he's a Viking. And he's definitely haunting this place. Back to the bus. Back to the bus. <laughs> no, let's go rub this big giant Viking's belly, you dumb bitch. JK, this guy's actually kind of frightened me, so check it out. <laughs> Psych, because I did laugh out loud when I heard that. <laughs> let's hear it again. <laughs> we cut to the mystery machine. We've got Scooby and Scrappy in the back. Okay, so this part did make me gig. Uh, it's. They look, they're looking at a book, this archaeology book, and it's just a picture of a bone. Oh, and then Scooby sexually assaults the book. <laughs> Daphne lets us know that Professor Busby has vanished. He was kidnapped by a vicious modern day Viking. I didn't know the Minnesota Vikings like to kidnap professors. That's a football team. I literally had to look that up. Scooby is 100% out of his mind, so he decides to sexually assault Shaggy. <laughs> He's even under the belt. Like he <laughs> under the belt. Like I'm with you, Scooby. The gang arrives. Scooby and Shaggy decide to get out, look at the building, decide it's too scary, and run back to the van. But nah, this is this show has Scrappy Doo, and he pulls stuff like this. <laughs> Daphne, meanwhile, has already drop kicked open the professor's research facility store, and tr it's just trashed. Someone came in there and just started beating up the shelves and just knocking things over. Suddenly, at the door is a teeny tiny Viking, which scares the rabbit poop out of Shaggy and Scooby. Yes! They were so scared, they ran to a chimney and I guess just hopped up. Because you can't run up it, you just hop up. Gave it the old hop up. Wait, that's Scrappy, not a teeny tiny Viking, you show. The guy from the tour that asked about the haunted Viking shows up, and that's not suspicious. So Daphne explains that they're just looking for Professor Busby, and lab assistant decides to say, well, he's not in here, so you should go ahead and get out of here. I'm not suspicious. They've looked everywhere, so Scrappy says, why don't we go look for that supposed real Viking that's around? And as if they were waiting behind a rock with their hand on their ear, waiting for someone to say that, this happens. I'm assuming that's not Christina Aguilera behind that rock swinging that bat. But there's something about that voice. Oh, no, that's uh, that's Britney Spears, okay. Scrappy and Scooby run per huge, and the Viking runs over to this cart of pumpkins to, what, throw at them? Is that a, is that a Viking thing? The Viking pumpkin throw time? Oh, okay, no, he just wanted to sleep behind a rock, smash the rock, and then eat a pumpkin. Typical Viking. Scrappy is ready to kick this butt, Heine, but no, the Viking picks up him and Daphne and just starts running. Now it's up to Shaggy and Scooby to save Daphne and Scrappy. So they hire a makeup artist to put them in disguise as a Viking. Daphne and Scrappy easily grab this pair of keys to this jail cell, hightail it out of there. They run into a room full of just barrels of diesel fuel. Professor Busby walks in and then they're like, yay, we found you, let's go find an exit. And he's like, yeah, we should split up to do that. Shaggy and Scooby just happen to run down that exit and it's Collision City. They find this sick ass underground waterway with this sick ass underground waterway Vikings boat. This river must lead to the ocean. It must, because small pieces of water don't go anywhere but the ocean. So all the Vikings come in and intruders, no. Scooby decides to sexually assault this guy by wrapping his legs around him and tossing him up into the, I don't know, captain's barrel of the boat. <gasps> it's Professor Busby. Mm -hmm. Yes. 
Scooby, yes, what are you, you're, you're right there. Your eyes are on him. Oh, yeah, it is. So, with this disguised submarine, Busby and his pirate gang plan to plunder the high seas like the ancient Vikings. And this place was gonna be his hideout. In summary, the professor is actually Busby the pirate and the lab assistant works for the Navy, supposedly, I don't know, he didn't show his credentials, and he was sent there to figure out what was going on with the Viking situation, the haunting of the big Viking. You saw it, the smash, the wave, the pumpkin eating. Why do you do that? Why do you eat that pumpkin? If he was there to like scare them all, did he think eating that pumpkin was gonna just terrify him? So they're like, oh no, he's gonna hurt us. No, he's eating that pumpkin and that's worse. Let's get out of here. So there's no point to that. He already smashed the big rock and scared the fuck out of him. They took off, they took off running. And he decided to just go have a snack. And then decide he didn't like the snack. I didn't play that clip. We'll play it now. Not good food! He, he's like, oh, ugh. Vikings don't like that. And then maybe he likes a challenge. Maybe he wants more of a challenge to... He's like, oh, I'm going to... They're not going fast enough. I know I'm faster than that dog and that stoner. I better eat a pumpkin first. Oh no! 